is analogous to the case of a vegetarian who becomes a meat eater and feels that in so doing he must go all the way back to cannibalism. <laughs> It is an unnecessarily large and drastic adjustment which cannot be justified on any good grounds of either precept nor practice. It has been derived entirely from the government acceptance of IMS prescriptions, especially about the size of the primary and overall surplus Barbados has to generate and the government determination to heed that advice no matter what the cause may be. An adjustment of this order of magnitude means that the government proposes to make an adjustment of over half a billion dollars to tax increases and expenditure reduction programs effectively over three years and to do so in an economy in which both the household and the private enterprises are still problems from the recent recession. The menu of the proposed measures, in relation to the menu of the proposed measures, the main aspect of these include proposals that indicate that government only intend to deal in austerity as the sole means of economic management. Some of the measures include, and I'm quoting from the government, containing containment of the cost of the public sector personnel in money increases by allowing the total growth to be equivalent to the sum normally paid as income over the period 2010 to 2015. Effectively, there is to be no increase in negotiated wage rates rate over this period. A hundred percent cut in the transfer to the National Housing Foundation and to the Barbados Board of Health. Incremental but unspecified cut in the transfer to the CH transport board, you dead right, and the daily MC. A reduction in government procurement of goods and services by 50%. The financing of 50% of government's projects to public private sector partnerships. On the revenue side, broadening the back day, including the restructuring of fiscal incentives. Increasing the excise taxes to capture any loss in revenue during the April recent year. Over the planning period 2010 to 2015, licenses and fees have been increased in line with inflation and cost. 